I'm sure that some of you will recognize this as the toolpost grinder that I used in the collet chuck build video a few weeks ago. A few of you were interested in the design and how I made it, so I thought I'd make a video on it. What you just saw me build first was the bracket. It's pretty much a quick change tool holder, something that I've made a lot of in the past, and that is just welded to a piece of 10mm stainless. And onto that I've mounted a spindle. These 400 watt spindles are everywhere on eBay and AliExpress and they're quite inexpensive. And I think this type of spindle really suits this sort of design because it comes with its own mounting bracket. A lot of other designs I've seen online use Dremels and if you use that you're going to have to make your own custom bracket and in my opinion this is going to be a lot more rigid than a Dremel. As for the grinding stones, if you can, get a stone with a quarter inch arbor or larger. The one I used in the collet chuck video was only one eighth of an inch like you'd use in a Dremel and it just wasn't rigid enough. I've also picked up some 70mm grinding stones but I still haven't gotten around to using them yet and they will need their own custom arbor to be made to work. You'll also need a few diamond dressing tools to dress the wheels. The only real disadvantage to this design that I've run into is you can't use this type of toolpost grinder with a live center. So this type of toolpost grinder is going to be limited to short parts 
and any tapers will need to be cut using the compound. So to demonstrate the tool, I'm going to remake a quick change tool holder for the milling machine. I originally made a bunch of these last year, but they weren't ground in and they suffered from poor run out. To dress it, I have the tool set up in a mag base and I'll cover the ways and cross slide to protect it from grit. Now because of the clearance issues, I'm going to come in from the back and I'll also use coolant to keep the part cool and reduce the dust that is created when you're grinding. And that is almost spot on. Now one thing I have noticed in my limited using of this tool is if you are using unhardened material, the surface finish that you're going to get is not going to be particularly amazing. The surface finish is smooth, but it certainly doesn't look like it. I have found that a quick sanding with 4000 grit will improve the surface finish, but it won't change the dimension.
and that is a very good result from the tool holder. And that's about it for now. I know this wasn't a tool holder making video, but I hope it did show you what the tool post grinder can do. Of course, I'm still a beginner with this tool, but it hopefully shows that even with my limited experience, even I can get good results with this type of tool. And thank you very much for watching. See you next time.